Hi, this is Vilas back here again from Selenium Express and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about string concatenation. And I'm also going to talk about in how many ways we can do string concatenation in Java. But before I switch to my topic, let's talk about some uh, very fundamental stuff, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about this. Let's say I have two different strings like this, string S1 equal to Selenium and string S2 is equal to Express. Okay, so Selenium Express is my channel name. But what happened is I have two different things instead of one. One string is Selenium, one string is Express. So what I want to do, I want to add this Express after this Selenium. All right, so I want to form a complete string by adding both this string. So how can I do that? So if you talk about adding or addition, you might be thinking about this operator, which is my addition operator, right? So in your mathematics class, you might have understand that this operator is used to do what? It is used to add numbers, right? Suppose I have two numbers, five and five, I want to add these two numbers, so you'll do a plus over here. So it will give me the result, 10. Right? So like that, if I want to add two strings, what I can do? Suppose I want to add Selenium and Express. What I can do? I can do the exact same thing. It is very, very simple. I can do Selenium plus Express. So do you know what, what it is going to give it to you? It is going to give it to you Selenium Express. Okay, so now I want to get Selenium Express, right? So I have two different strings. The first string contains Selenium. The second string contains Express. So first string I want over here, which is S1, which contains Selenium. And I want to add it to an another string. I mean, to another string, right? How can I do that? I can do simply S2, right? So S1 is Selenium. S2 is Express, isn't it? So now, this two string is going to give me an another string. So let me store it inside a string variable. Let's say it S3. Now if I print this S3, what is going to happen? It is going to give me a complete string like this. Selenium Express. But you can see over here, there is no space, right? Because I've just done the addition, all right? There, there, there is no space present over here. If I want to give a space, what I can do, if you want to know this, you just keep on watching this tutorial, okay? Okay, so now what we understand, the plus operator, which is this, can be used to add two values. It may be of numerics, it may be of strings, or it may be one numeric, one string. Now let's understand this. Suppose I want to add five plus five. This five is a number, this five is a number. Both the values are, numeric. This is a numeric value and this is a numeric value. So if I add two numeric value, it is going to give me the addition of this, which is 10. All right. But what about if I try to add two strings like this, like selenium, which is a string, so that I'll put it inside a double quote, plus I'll add express. So I'll write express here, which is a string. So I will put it inside a double quote, what it is going to give it to me. It is going to give it to me a string because string plus string is a string. Okay, so I'll get here Selenium Express. I don't have any space here, so let me write it over here. Okay, so what do we understand? Numeric plus numeric is numeric. String plus string is a string. But what about string plus number or number plus string? What it is going to give it to you? Let's talk about it. So before that, let me remove these stops. Okay, so now let's say if I have a number, okay, let's say I have a number which is 10 and I have a string which is, uh, let's say Java, right? Now what is going to be happen? Now this is a number and this is a string. So you have to remember number plus string is equal to string. 
All right? So I'll get Tain and Java. All right? So if something is there like, uh, let's say Java and plus 10.2, which is a double. What it is going to give it to you? String plus anything is a string. All right? We just need to remember that. So I'll get Java 10.2. And this is the string, all right? So what we understand from here, if I'm trying to add anything with a string, it is giving me a string. And this plus operator is working as a concatenation operator. This is working as a concatenation operator, all right? So what we understand from here, if I am trying to, so, so let's say if I want to try to add something Java, which is a string, plus Java, which is a string, then it will give it to me Java, Java, right? So we can form a definition out of it. If any of the operand we are trying to add is a string, or both of the operand that we are trying to add is a string, then this plus operator is going to work as a concatenation operator, all right? So, this is all about how you can do concatenation by using this operator, which is your addition operator or plus operator. In, in case of string, we call it concatenation operator because it is concatenating two different strings and giving us a result, which may be a number, which may be a string. And I told you, in which case it's a number, in which case it's a string. So before I do something programmatically, and, and before I bring Eclipse into the picture, uh, there is a, another way by, by using what you can do concatenation in Java. And that's by using string API, all right? So, in, so inside the java.lang.string class, we have a method called concat, all right? So if you use concat method over a string, you can do concatenation very easily, all right? So let, let's talk about that right now. All right, so now let's say I have a string over here. Let's quickly do that. String S1 equal to uh, selenium. So this is my string and my reference is S1. So S1 is my object reference of string class. And I told you inside the string class, we have a method called concat. And using the concat method, we can concat something with a string, all right? So let's go ahead and say that. So using this S1 reference, I'm going to concat so let me write that method. Let me call that method. And inside the concat, I'm going to concat express with my first string. Okay. So with S1, I'm going to concat express. So this concat method is going to return me a string. All right. Suppose string plus string. Obviously, it is going to return me a string, right? So like that concat method is working as a concatenation operator. It's a method I know, but it's working like that. So it is going to return to me a string. So let me store it using a string, let's say S2. Uh, so now if I print this, this S2, what it is going to return to me, can you guess? Now I have concatenated express with my S1 string. So selenium is my first string, which is S1. And then I have concatenate express, right? So it's become selenium express. So if I print S2, because I stored uh, this result over here with a, another string reference, which is S2. So if I print S2, it is going to return to me selenium express, all right? Uh, okay, so now let's talk about it programmatically, okay? So whatever we discussed, let's do it programmatically. So in this tutorial, we have covered in how many ways we can do concatenation in Java. First way is by using the plus operator. The second one is by using the concat method of string class, all right? So by using both this way, we can do concatenation in string. And uh, one more thing we have covered that what is concatenation, we just cover a kind of definition, okay? So let's bring Eclipse into the picture. So let's cover it. All right, so now let's do it programmatically. 
So as you can see over here, I do have a simple class called string demo and I don't have any code right over here and I'm going to do all my coding from scratch. All right, so now let me write my main method over here. So I'm using Eclipse so I can write main, I can do a control space and it will write the main method for me. All right, so now I'll show you how to perform string concatenation in Java. So as I said, there are two different ways to do it. The first way is by using the plus operator. So this is what I'm gonna do over here first, okay? So let me declare to string over here very quickly. So let me write string S1 of Selenium. And I have another string called S2 and let's say it express all right so i got two different string s1 and s2 which has two different values selenium and express so let's say i want to form my channel name which is selenium express so to get that i need to add this to string okay so let's go ahead and quickly do that so let's first do it by using uh, plus operator okay so how can we do that we need to add this s1 with s2 right so s1 is a string which contains selenium and s2 is a string which is contained express so i'm concatenating this both string so that uh, i can get a complete string uh, so let me uh, give a equals over here and let me write string and let me give it a variable i mean give it a reference called s3 so now inside this s3 i'm storing the addition result of s1 and s2 which is selenium express okay and this so as i said this is a string and this is a string and it is going to return to you a string so that i'm storing it inside a string variable all right uh, so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to print this out so let me write s3 over here and the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to run this application so you can see over here i'm getting the exact result that i'm expecting which is selenium express okay but one thing to notice over here is you know this is coming as uh, you know a complete string but without having any space right so so before this express i need a space because my channel name has a space before this express so i want to get that so how can i give a space over here so there are a few different ways by using what we can do that the first way is i just can simply give a space over here before the string and if I can save it again and if I run it again you can see now this express has a space before it and there is a, another way that you can do it uh, so let's say if I don't need to give a space over here and I want to get a result with a space in between the selenium and express so how to do that so you see I'm adding this s1 string with this s2 string okay so now I want to add a, another string so let me write a, a plus over here and inside this two plus I'll, I'll just add another string which is space okay so now I'm adding three different string first one is s1 the second one is a space then the third one is s2 so now you can see I'm adding another string which is a space in between this two string right so these are three different string I'm adding all them together. First one is S1, which is Selenium. Second one is Space. And the third one is S2, which is Express. Okay. So now let's say if I save this and if I run it again, let's go for it. Okay. Selenium Express comes with a space. Okay. Very simple. So this is how we can do string concatenation by using plus operator. And the second way is by using concat method of string class. All right, so how to use that? So, okay, so I want to concat this express with this selenium, okay? Okay, so I want to concat with what? I want to concat with S1, okay? So S1 is what? S1 is my string class reference which contains selenium. So with this selenium, I want to concat. So let me call that method concat. And if you, if you see this, this concat method is accepting a string argument that I need to concat with. So what I can do, I can define a string over here. So if I want to concat something express, so I can write express over here because it's accept a string as its argument. But without declaring a string over here inside this, I can take S2 because this S2, I have defined it over here, which contains a value express already. 
So let me define it directly over here, uh, which is S2. And now this concat method is going to return to you as a string. So you need to handle the return type. So how to do that? So you just need to write string over here because it is going to return to you a string. And now you have to give it an another variable. So let's say S4. So S4 is my string reference. Okay. So now if I print it, this out, and if I if I write S4 over here, now it is going to give me Selenium Express. Okay. So which is my desired output. Okay, but before I wrap up this session, I want to tell you guys that you know in my tutorial I also say it right. You can add a string with a number, you can add a string with a uh, double, you can add a string uh, with anything, right? So you can just try adding those things and just let me know in the comment section if you're getting any issues. Okay, so this is it from this tutorial. And in the next video, I'm gonna cover why string is immutable in Java. And trust me, there are a lot of factors associated with it. So we'll discover that in the next tutorial. So don't forget to watch that because it's a very popular interview question. And we're going to talk about it in a brief in the next tutorial. So stay tuned with this channel and don't forget to subscribe to get all the notifications related to string FAQs. So see you in the next video.